Once again, we got a small college in a small town with some big possibilities. But let's figure out how you can get admitted and check out the campus. How's it going? What are you guys doing? Um, what, what's that, what is this? Chi Omega Sorority. Chi Omega Sorority? Yeah. Okay, cool. What kind of sorority are you guys? Like the fun kind, the smart kind, the academic kind? Like, all, of them. all of them? We're all around. Like we're ev everything like that you want to be. All right, Miss President. Uh, here you go. That's you. That's, you need to talk to that. <laughs> I have to consult my legal chair. Of course, you got to talk to the cabinet. I understand. So Chi Omega is a women's organization that focuses on philanthropy and community. We work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We have um, fundraisers every month. Um, and we have a lot of different women from a lot of different organizations on campus, a lot of teams on campus, a lot of different clubs. And we all come together um, to form one big happy family. When I've talked about FM to people, like they're like, oh, this is like middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Like, there's not going to be any. Yeah, yeah, there's not going to be any international students here. But my, our freshman year, our class was 600 students, and about 120 of them were from China. Yeah. Wow. I remember, like, yeah. they did like a survey like freshman year, and like almost everyone responded like this was the most like diverse place they've been, and it's like in the middle of nowhere. Pennsylvania. Yeah, surrounded by Amish people. Yeah. Yes. Like, there's horse and buggy guys yeah. down the street, and you guys have like. Yeah, hundreds of internationals here. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. It's actually, it's a lot more than you would anticipate. Yeah, that's really cool. To find Kai Omega on Instagram, we're Kai Omega underscore FNM. And on TikTok, we are the same handle, Kai Omega underscore FNM, to see all of our content. And you can go on everydaykaiomega.com to find more info about our nationals. <laughs> So as a Pennsylvania boy myself, I figured I would explain a little bit about where we are. This is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's a small town located about an hour away from Philadelphia. Now, to understand Pennsylvania, there's essentially three regions. First, there's Pittsburgh. That's the best city. Then there's Philadelphia. That's an okay city. And then there's the rest of Pennsylvania. And Lancaster is in the rest of Pennsylvania. The rest of Pennsylvania consists of a lot of small towns and a lot of nature. And you'll also find a lot of Amish people. These are people who have completely forgone the way of modern life. They don't use electricity or drive cars uh, and there's a whole bunch of Amish communities around here in Lancaster so like this I think is the most iconic rest of Pennsylvania spot that I've seen. Seriously stay out of Philly though like we don't like them over there. Pittsburgh boys. Epidem oozes history so this place was founded in 1787 which makes it one of the oldest colleges in the United States and right here is former president James Buchanan's house like literally history just kind of leaks out of every pore here and it fits with the vibe of these buildings. I love the way this campus looks. It's retaining that historical feel and really keeping that original vibe that it had so long ago. The city even built a park right here behind the university, so like, this isn't actually part of the campus, but it might as well be, because it's a giant public park located right next to the college. Pretty great. I love how these classroom chairs have little cup holders on the side, like awesome touch. I've never seen a chair like these before. I 
get a very like chill, comfortable vibe here at FNM. Like there's a lot of funny signs and even like on classrooms, there's memes put on the walls and windows. Just lets you know that they're doing serious things, but they're not taking themselves too seriously. And I like that a lot. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Hannah. She oversees all the international admissions. She's a wonderful person and she took some time to talk to me today. So we're gonna talk to her a little bit about the programs here and the admissions process and what you can do to make your application stronger. My name is Hannah Kim. I'm the Associate Director of International Admission here at Franklin and Marshall College. And I'm Leah Hoffman, the International Admissions Counselor at Franklin and Marshall College as well. We are a liberal arts school, which means a lot of our majors are meant to be very holistic. So our students are going to be taking classes in many different fields here to learn core skills in things like reading, writing, research, critical thinking that they can use in any major. We do offer uh, over 60 different majors and programs here. Some of our most popular ones that are sometimes a little bit unique to a liberal arts school is definitely our business program. Economics, philosophy, biology, psychology, those are also very big for us as well. We are a test optional school. We have been for a really long time. We definitely like to take a lot of our students' cultural context into consideration, choosing great references, having counselors who know them well, being able to speak to who they are as a student and to the academic caliber that they're performing at. We do offer need-based financial aid to our international students. We are one of the few schools in the United States that does actually meet 100% of determined need for our international students. All right, so you got a beautiful campus. They meet 100% of demonstrated need. They've got excellent programs. What's the catch, all right? So as a small college, they only admit about five, 600 people a year, which means it's gonna be very competitive to get in here. And so you're gonna to need to really bring forward your best application possible. They put a lot of emphasis on a holistic review, so it's not just a test score. It's not just having perfect grades. You're really gonna to wanna to impress people here with your essays, I think, and also the other activities that you do. That's what they're interested in hearing about is you. Make sure you get an interview too. Show this kind of college who you are. Liberal arts colleges can actually get to know everybody who applies because they only take in like a few hundred people. So it's easier for them to really make that decision based on you and your personality and not just a couple of numbers on a piece of paper. So this is the whole residential area and Leah told me a lot about it. So let's hear from her about how FNM makes it easy for you to get integrated, make new friends and really engage in these living learning communities. So all of our freshman students will be divided into one of five houses where they'll be with around more or less 100 other incoming freshmen. We really set them up as living and learning communities. Each house will have one faculty member who is going to be their day one faculty advisor, but also having the support as an individual for students dealing with time management, homesickness, or even just the big changes that come with being away from home in a new country for the first time. Now, one of the cool things here that I like about FNM is that even though it's an undergraduate only institution and so it's mostly focused on, you know, just getting you through that bachelor's degree, they have a ton of research opportunities. Two thirds of our students do participate in research opportunities. Around 40% of our professors published work is actually co-authored by our own students as well. So a lot of students leave FNM with published research to their name. Even when they go to graduate school beyond, they've already had these experiences that maybe a lot of other students haven't had before. So if you would like to apply and you're interested, we are available on both the Common App and the Coalition app. Early decision one deadline is going to be on November 15th. We also have an option for early decision two on January 15th, which is the same date as our regular decision for any of our students coming in for the upcoming fall. If you're interested in learning more, um, you can visit our website at fandm.edu or you can email us at our international admission uh, email account as well. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> So that's how you apply, and if you're interested in beefing up your application a little bit more, you can hit us up at prepascore.com or just leave a comment below if you got any questions about FNM or want to let me know where you want me to go next. All right, I'm back in my car. It's been an awesome day at FNM. I want to say big thank you to Hannah and Leah. You made my day awesome, and this campus really does it all for itself. It's, it's a beautiful university. You should absolutely check it out. It's one of those few in the United States that will meet you in the middle with your financial aid, so don't be afraid to apply. See what happens. If you get in, it might just change your life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.